final whistle goes then at Anfield, and it's Liverpool three, Brentford nil. Goals from Fabinho, Alex Oxlade, Chamberlain, and Taki Minamino give Liverpool three valuable, valuable points. Settle. Just going to second place. Yeah. Uh, what what are your general thoughts? I thought from the second the team Nate news come out, it looked like Liverpool were going to try and up the tempo from the other night and be a bit more progressive, be a bit more front foot. Mm-hmm. And pretty much from minute one, I felt that was the case. The, the end ball sometimes wasn't quite there, and it took us a while. And in the end, it come from a set piece, which Brentford struggled with all game anyway. Yeah. But from minute one, really, I thought Liverpool it was a vast improvement. It had to be because Thursday after the red card was so poor and we wanted a reaction and we got it. Yeah, no, I completely agree with you and it was just reassuring to see that, you know, with the likes of some of your big hitters, we didn't have, you know, that, that the the stellar creator spark in Thiago in midfield or in Naby Keita of, you know, of their ilk. We didn't have Mane, we didn't have Salah, but we still had more than enough to beat this Brentford side today. I thought Curtis Jones was a bit of a revelation in terms of that energy that he brings. He's got so much confidence on the ball. He yeah. never looks to really to, to want to give it up. He's, he's happy to drive with it. He's happy to play nice, cute passes and flicks. So I think individually, I think everybody upped their own individual performances in terms of ratings by two or like yeah. by at least two or three, depending on the individual today. Um, yeah, and I think it was good. You know, you asked a big question of the likes of the Ox before. You know, the fact that he plays in so many different positions for us, it's hard to find that rhythm and that level of consistency. But today, even he be, he was able to deliver as playing with that right forward. And, and for me, I think one of the the biggest or the starkest change to the, to the midweek game, which you know it's gone now, so we can forget about it. We have come good. Is the the deliveries from wide? We've yeah. spoken so many times on these shows uh, how reliant we are on creating from wide positions, whether that is crosses from corners, whether that's crosses from you know left side, right side, whichever whichever fullback it is. We need their deliveries to be on point in order for us to and the set piece deliveries as well. In there, yeah, yeah, that's it. For in order for us to have any joy out of the game, or at least guarantee us one or two goals, those areas of the pitches where we need to dominate, but be really uh, clinical. And I think today was signs that we was getting back to our best not saying we are but getting back in the right direction to be performing at our best level yeah and like I say in, in the absence of Salah in the absence of Mane other people have got to step up and Liverpool had that today we'll go through more of those obviously on the play rating so I'll be doing that in an instant match reaction yeah. but the one man I wanted to bring out I, I thought Curtis Jones we were talking about again about the impetus and someone's got to set the tempo I thought the actual the midfield both of them I thought Henson had a good game I thought Jones had a good really game. Good game those handle. two were I thought were instrumental in just keeping us on the front foot Keep going forward right we're going forward this one's going forward even at times Henderson was knocking balls well, forward yeah. and even if they weren't you know, the, the one they were the both offside, for example, who's nods it forward. What he's doing, he's just setting that tempo. Right, lads, this ball goes forward. This ball, ball goes forward. forward. We, are, we are progressing this game. We are not we are not dilly dallying on the ball, ball like we did the other yeah. day. We are not if they're not getting set. And I thought I thought Henderson and Jones both did that. And I, and I feel Henderson and it's no detriment to him. I just think when it's Henderson and, Mid, and, and Milner in midfield or when they start together, he's there's too much pressure on him to deliver something. So he always then tries to pick the right moment and he forces it too much. When the, the expectation is the likes of Kurt Jones is going to take that mantle and that's his, more of his natural gameplay, Henderson can kind of take the handbrake off, just feel his way into the game. And then when he picks his moments, he's not forcing it. He then chooses to use that tempo to play the ball forward a lot more because it's it's not expected from him. Yeah, he, yeah, you know yeah. He's not getting closed down as quick. And I think that plays to his strengths more when he's not the expected driving force for that midfield. When you put that pressure on him, sometimes he, he comes good, you know, and uh, we'll have seen many of games where he has come good, but in, in recent weeks, he's struggled with that. Whereas when he's got someone to offset that responsibility to, he can then just do it at his own pace. And for him today, his pace was forward thinking. And I think that was really important. Yeah, big here. I'm going to go to some of our comments then from our Club Legend Discord members. So uh, let's have a little look. We've got Alex says, uh, hopefully we can start a bit of a run. Only downside to that is Ox. I hope it's not serious. Yeah, Oxley James Link off injured shortly after they scored his goal, which was the only, again, one, uh, one downside. Scotty T says, my man, the match was Fabinho. We've had a few others as well. Um, Tom P, and I agree with this one, much better energy today, I agree. The tempo yeah. was there, the, the, the fluidity energy of players. Energy was one yeah, point. 100% agree, yeah. Um, and then Scott again, no Salah, no Mane, no problem, three points in the bag. And then Tom Starr, hopefully we can kick on now, start a run of 10 games and just see where it takes us. And we said this before, didn't we? Man, what Man City do now is out of our hands until we play them. They, yeah. they could just steamroll the league, but Liverpool, 
need to position themselves to be the team who are there to capitalise if they slip. And performances like that, job done, professional, get it done, clean sheet, three goals, happy, happy as Larry. City, if you win it, hands up, the best team have won it. But if you do falter, if you have a little COVID outbreak or something happens or whatever, or you a bit of a run of bad form, it's going to be us who are going to be nipping at you. That's what, and that's what we did again today. Yeah, no, 100%. And we, we've got to be in and around them in order to be able to do that. And wins like this were, were so important because if, if we don't, we just play into their hands even more. They don't have to play at 100% every week. Now we're guaranteeing that, you know, provided that we can keep up this, this sustained pressure on them, they have to play at 100%. They can't afford yep. to just say, do you know what? We're going to play at 80% because we've got a Champions League game that we're saving our energy for, or we've got an FA Cup quarter final or semi final that we're saving our energy for. No, every week you've got to give 100% blood, sweat, and tears if you want your three points. Because if you don't, Liverpool will be there to kind of lick the lips and say, yeah, Sam will jump on every any every missed opportunities that you present us. Um, I, I, again, just really, really impressed with how, for us, it felt like a loss the other day. You know, they went down to 10 men. They, we had so much control of the ball, but we didn't really seem to want to control the game and take it away from Arsenal. It felt like a loss as the fan base. You know, the internet seemed to go on, on a meltdown. The comments, everyone seemed to just be on a dampener. It, it was FSG out here and it was, we need signings and investments there. And through, on a normal day, objectively, you can have those arguments. But when you're just off the back of a football match, it's just so emotional when people are getting that way. It just feels today the lads have writ the, the wrongs and said, you know what? We know we've got the ability. You know, Bobby setting up Taki towards the end there. It was just so composed the way that he did it. The, the likes of Ox getting on the end of a cross as well from that right forward position. Again, it just shows when these lads are on song, they can just be as good as any of them. Yeah, for sure. Like I say, Liverpool need their backup slash rotational options to, uh, to, to come call, good. To, yeah. to, to come good. And more time, more often than not, they've done it this season for Klopp when he's called on them. Yeah. Hitch Baz there with the super chat as well says Millie not getting a card that's the man of the match material for me. He thought well. it was at one point on the halfway line <laughs> about to absolutely web some fella and then he thought he thought better of it but yeah you're right. Um, so yeah it says uh, Jeff a good comment here yeah, three games out of our African players two wins and one draw and we don't even know if that draw will be good or bad yet we'll find out in the week yeah, it's fair play like I say Liverpool, shot, yeah, yeah it is like I say we have again the opposition that Liverpool would expect but yeah, you have to go and do it and before we start wrapping up then mate what was your thoughts in terms of like from start to finish, much better improved, much mm-hmm. much improved. Is that that Liverpool team that we've seen again going back to the the lads who we haven't got because there's so many of them. But we, the lads who we have got, let's focus on them. I feel like if they've, they've put a marker down there, say you know what, yeah, we can do this because there was doubt yeah. because I don't think it was a main even against Shrewsbury it was a bit. I mean that was a, a much change. Get it, and yeah. it was coming on the back of a mad week against the Arsenal. I think there were a few people saying like. Is this showing that the depth isn't quite there at the top level and stuff? But I feel now this is a game where some of those doubters might be thinking, eh, I'm, not, I'm not completely overwhelmed, I'm not overwhelmed, but... like it's positive signs. Yeah, yeah, positive signs. And, and, and you've got to take them because at the end of the day, Arsenal is still a level above this Brentford side. So they're going to be a more tougher opposition on Thursday. So we need to get a reality check and, and, and recognise the level of opposition that we'll be coming up against. And they will hopefully have a full week off where they're refreshed and they're able to go for it. Um Again, it's just a sign to me that you know we spoke about certain players getting the opportunities and stepping up, and you know you can only beat what's in front of you. Taki's on within all of five minutes. His first touch, he scores a goal, gets put on a plate. The other day, he balloons when he's been on the pitch for ninety minutes. Do you know what I mean? So, in a month where you were pigeonholing him to get these games, now you can say, well, there's one game and he's nailed it. He only got twenty minutes towards the end, but he he come on and he's nailed it, and he looked bright. Yeah, playing yeah. down at Sanchez, he looked bright. Do you know what I mean? As a goal, could have had assisted goal and put his one away as well. Yeah, it was a better one. I, I was critical of him the other day, and I thought it was he needed a reaction, and he's give you one. And he, he, no, he absolutely did. And Liverpool did. I think that's the main thing. Is that I like, wish it was his birthday every day. Yeah, maybe, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Taki, just keeping your birthday, and we'll be fine. But I just think in general, like when you when you. Listen, we didn't lose a draw. It was it was a nil nil draw in the first leg of a game against Arsenal at the end of the world. But it did feel a bit like. Ah, down and dumped so in Liverpool needed to react and they did, didn't they? To, to wrap it up we, we got the reaction we wanted you, didn't we and, and, and in all fairness you, if you're going to play a top six team with a weakened squad apart from City use our use second string squad most people say oh, they'll walk into the top four anyway you're probably looking for a draw anyway on another day. I think it's the fact that it's a semi-final and we're at Anfield. And the 10 men. And the 10 men were putting that pressure on us. But if we was to go, you know, 
if we was to do that again with our full strength or our second string squad and we was to get a result, that'd be a huge, yep. huge, huge plus for this Liverpool side. And again, for those lads that are beating the likes of the Brentfords, the Shrewsbury's, the, the lesser teams, when they're getting their opportunities, for them, that'd be a big scalp. So it, it, it's a positive that they've been able to do it now because it's, again, we're going up in calibre of opposition and it's, can you do it again next week? And I think that's where we will we'll see what they're made of and in a little bit more close detail. Yeah, absolutely, mate, absolutely. Right, we'll wrap that one up there then. That'll, um, obviously, we're going to be back shortly with the fan reactions on YouTube and also the player rating. So keep an eye out on the YouTube channel for those. If you want to get involved in the fan reaction show, head on over to the socials now and get your tweets and Facebook posts in. If you want to get involved with the player ratings, we'll be doing that live shortly afterwards. Uh, you can use the live chat to get in touch with me and I'll be reading out some of the best comments that you guys have as well oh yeah to that Dortmund fan as well we're keeping tacky yeah. sorry yeah, deal, <laughs> can't have him yeah, yeah, deal, deals off deals off absolutely fine right then thanks so much for watching Edel thanks absolute pleasure to have you with me again, again. Yeah, it's been all you guys in the stream all the super chats all the mods all the discord legends as well it's been brilliant to have you as part of the show hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have until next time we'll see you all later goodbye Hey, if you want to get your name here and be a club legend like so many have so far, join up to Rev Men Plus. You get an incredible range of Liverpool content. Our Netflix for Liverpool fan style service is there for you. Documentaries, features and interviews. And yes, we also have the club legends here. So if you want to go a bit deeper, get a deeper connection with us and with Liverpool Football Club as well, then sign up to the RevmenTV.com. Rev Men Plus are a club legend here and there's loads of extra bonus perks for you as well. Check it out.